everyone, my name is Yasmin Gonzalez and I am with the King's Art Center. We will be using things that you can find around the house, like an iron, and I suggest you having parental supervision when you're doing this specific project. Today we're going to be making kind of an inspired project by Henry Matisse and it's going to be an interesting method because this is something that you can use uh, with materials from your house. So we're going to learn how to iron on paper and what you will need is a t-shirt or towels, tea towels, anything that has 100% uh, cotton on it, an iron, obviously you're going to need adult supervision to use this, cling wrap or saran wrap, scissors and I decided to use construction paper but I noticed that the thinner the paper the more of a great shirt you're gonna come out with so if you can get tissue paper I suggest you use that instead that makes it more easier to stick to the t-shirt and won't make it look as thick so the seven elements of art contain line form space value color texture and shape talking about shape today we have two different kinds of categories in shape we have our geometric which are our shapes that we see in every day pointy hexagon rectangular those are the kinds of shapes that are geometric then we have our freeform shapes these shapes are <laughs> organic natural and our number one favorite freeform. The ones we're going to be focusing on today are freeform. These are the ones that look like puddles, just all the way around like so. Different size, shapes. Our natural shapes and forms would be like leaves or anything that is done in Mother Nature. And organic would be similar to nature, for example, this would be a cloud. So Henry Matisse was a French artist known for his use of color and cut out shapes. These shapes look like freeform and they look cool when they're placed in clusters. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be cutting them out in squiggly lines in different types of shapes. Circles is fine. And I like to think of it as cutting out pieces of seaweed. So for example, we can cut out different lines and forms like this. And we can be using any color we'd like. The more color, the better. taking the time to cut out our shapes, it's time for, for us to rearrange them. So what Matisse did is he was known for using scissors as his painting. So he was painting with scissors and making an image with little pieces of paper that he had. And that's what we're gonna do. And we're going to get our fabric first and set this aside, making space for our fabric. So it doesn't have to be a t-shirt, it can be whatever fabric you wanna put it on. It can be on a washcloth, it can be on a tea towel, making sure that it is 100% cotton and it's also preferred to have it ironed already, no wrinkles. So now we're gonna add two pieces of saran wrap to the center of my t-shirt. And I'm gonna be making two of these Same size, we put this on the side. 
when we're done arranging our pieces of construction paper in the center of our t-shirt. So we want to make sure we cover our entire saran wrap, leaving some space make new smaller shapes to fit smaller areas in the crevices of, of the image you can Now we cover up our design on top of with the other wrap. construction paper popping out. As you can see there's some over here and I can cut out another piece. I can cut out another piece so I can um, cover any excess construction paper sticking out or that didn't get covered. We're going to put a second piece of fabric on top of it and we're going to iron on our saran wrap. We have to make sure it's on low heat and this might take a while because we really want it to melt onto our first t-shirt. have a t-shirt so doing a project like this takes time and a lot of patience because you normally don't get it the first try but once you do you're going to be happy with the end of the result so you don't have to do it exactly as Henry Matisse style you can also print out images and do the same technique on any piece of fabric I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to follow us at the King's Art Center on our social media thanks for watching